everybody. Um, yeah, I am 28 weeks now. I have not done a video in quite some time because there has been a lot going on. First, we decided to move out of our old place because we need more space for the baby. And yeah, so we actually moved out. When we actually decided to move out and when we moved out was only two weeks. So we had to pack everything up and we had to move and then still there's stuff that needs to be unpacked uh... not too much though thankfully and um... recently uh... my husband's best friend and best man at our wedding he uh... died um... he got hit by a semi truck so actually ran over which is terrible but we've been having a hard time with that and so i just didn't make a video then and so it's just been a while so I thought even though I look terrible right now I decided I would get a video up because some people at least watch these videos so they might be wondering why I'm not putting a video up um, <clears throat> for symptoms I still get heartburn mostly when I eat but for some really weird reason when I drink Pepsi I don't get heartburn from it usually so it's just really strange that I've I've gotten heartburn heartburn from milk even and yet Pepsi doesn't really do it it's really strange um actually thinking about it my heartburn actually has been really good today I don't think I've had a heartburn today that's good but um I've been kind of more emotional well because of the death and everything <clears throat> that's been hard so I've been pretty emotional and it sucks but we're getting through it and um, for pain actually recently it was two no yesterday yesterday is when uh, everything all er, just loosened up more so I have pelvic bone pain all my joints and stuff are like rubbing together and cracking and it's really uncomfortable um, yeah I have started to swell my feet have actually that started yesterday too um, what else symptoms do I have? I didn't write anything down right now because uh, I just felt like I should just get this up so yeah, and I've reached 159 pounds, so I've gained, I start at 136, so that's 23 pounds, if I'm correct. So that's pretty sad, because I'm already, I'm only 28 weeks, but that happens to me, where I just all of a sudden gain a lot. Happens every pregnancy, and I just get huge. My stomach just gets so gigantic, so I kind of, you know, not surprised. Um, uh, what else? Of course, I still don't have my wedding rings on because my hands are, uh, I don't know if anybody can tell, but they're actually swollen. Um, yeah. And, hmm, I don't know if I've had much symptoms, like nothing much different also, even though I haven't done a video in at least five weeks or more. Uh, my measurements, the last time I measured myself around, I was 41 and a half inches. And I started off, I'm not sure exactly where I started off, but at 13 weeks, I was 37 inches and I stayed 37 inches for a while. So, I don't know. I just, right when I got pregnant, I got so bloated that actually at five weeks, someone was like, oh, you're already showing. And the bloating has never gone away since. So... It just kind of looked like I was, I guess, pregnant since five weeks, but I wasn't actually showing because I was really bloated. And that also reminds me of stuff, symptoms, bloating. Um, sometimes I get bloated and it actually feels like my side muscles are just pulling apart. And I think I'm getting more stretch marks. Um, not that much. And... I can't really tell because of all the stretch marks I already have, 
for my last two, so I don't know. Um, yeah, um, this pregnancy seems like it's going to be so difficult from here on in because my pelvic bone hurts so much I can hardly walk sometimes. It's really, really hard to turn over at night. And I do use a body pillow between my legs, but the whole turning over part sucks. And that's usually when my pelvic bone, the bone actually rubs together and it like makes this cracking noise and it's just, it's so annoying and it's just so, feels so gross. Um, yesterday I was actually having quite a bit of pain in my muscles and stuff and, ugh, and Braxton Hicks are getting more uncomfortable. When I get them, I feel pressure lower down, and um, yeah, they. I think they're gonna get to the painful stage because with my second daughter, I would get painful Braxton Hicks. I can't remember when they started, but uh, they're very uncomfortable. Um, I'm just hoping that this pregnancy doesn't get much worse because I still have to take care of my girls and try and take care of the house and. Since the death um, of my husband's friend, I just kind of got more depressed even though I already have postpartum depression and I am on medication and I've been taking my medication. I just feel like I don't want to do anything. I don't want to get a bed. I don't want to do anything for my girls, but yet I push myself to, to make sure at least they're getting what they need and what everything. So they're coming first in everything. Um, yeah, but yeah, we, we moved to a bigger place, so I will hopefully when the baby's room is done, I'll be able to show you guys. I'm so glad that he gets his own room, because, well, we can't really decorate it much because we are renting, but I can still, all the stuff that I do buy and stuff, and the color in here, in the background, if you can see it, it doesn't look that great in this lighting, but it's actually a really nice color. And that's also the color in his room, in every room actually. The only color that's different is in the bathroom. <laughs> it's weird that there's one room that's different color, but it's a very nice place. Uh, everything is brand new in here. Everything got gutted out because there was a fire here six months ago. So everything got gutted out and redone. And me and my husband are the first ones to live here, so it's, it's nice. Very nice. And we have not really stairs that are in our apartment except for the ones that come uh, when you come in the door then there's stairs there but those are just whatever they don't count as much <laughs> in my opinion because for laundry the baby does have uh, the washer and dryer in his room but so it kinda is a laundry room and his room and it's all on the same floor so I don't have to go up and down stairs, so that makes it easier to do the laundry, which is nice. <laughs> and, yeah, and my girls are really liking this new place. And we finally put my oldest daughter in big girl bed. It's actually my husband's old bed that she gets to use now. And she's pretty excited about it. Um, yeah. And she doesn't even need a rail because she doesn't fall out of bed. But we did put a mattress there. So if she does fall out, she has a little softer landing. Because uh, we didn't have a rail yet. But Because when we first moved in, we didn't have a rail. But we were going to get my father-in-law to make one. But since she hasn't been falling out, we decided that we'll just leave it. So, yeah. So, I'll try so hard to get my videos on, uh, done in time and everything. But lately it's been very difficult, so yeah, there's a lot that's been going on, and I'm really, I still have exhaustion, which has been the same throughout the whole pregnancy, basically. So yeah, um, and the, oh, the baby's movements are crazy. He loves to move, like, I swear he moves more than my other two. His movements, he's just, sometimes he just... I feel like he's insane in there. Um, yeah, and um, we have picked out a name, but we're not telling anybody. But uh, the, his middle name will be the name of my husband's best friend. We actually asked 
um, the parents of my husband's best friend and the mom actually broke down tears she was so happy that we decided to do that and uh, yeah so that was kind of nice and uh, I'll do a belly shot so I don't forget like I did in the last one and made a separate video <laughs> I'll try and I don't have a nice place to do it but um, this is belly for 28 weeks it is getting big I don't know if you can see that well, because I do my videos on my phone. Yeah, and that's my belly. I'll do it with the shirt up. That's the belly. My belly button is still out a bit, and it's kind of a little bit in here, but it's poking out and there's my belly for 28 weeks I'm getting big it's not that exciting to get huge but I wouldn't doubt that I'll be able to lose it after I have the baby because I'm still young I'm only 20 years old 20s I can't believe I said that wrong 20 years old <laughs> so yeah that doesn't concern me so I can get as well not as big as I want but as long as the baby's healthy, I'm good. Okay, thank you for watching. See you.